Hey everyone, and welcome back to another PMAT quick tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about installing the PMAT suite as an independent deployment or an executable file. As usual, feel free to comment down below or to visit www.thebarkerlab.com in order to find our contact information. You can use either of these to ask any questions that you might have, especially as they pertain to the installation of PMAT. In order to install the PMAT suite, the first thing that you're going to need to do is to visit our GitHub page. You can find the link for this down below in the description of the video. Once you're at the Barker Lab GitHub page under the PMAT folder, what you'll see is that there are a series of files, and the bottom of these says PMAT Independent Deployment. You should click this. Once you've clicked this, there's a link somewhere in the middle of the page that says Download. You should also click this. Upon clicking this, this will allow you to download the PMAT suite. I recommend placing this in a location that you are very familiar with. Um, my personal recommendation would be the desktop. Hit save. Once you've done this, you can go to the desktop and you can open up the PMAT folder. Inside of this folder, you'll see the current version. And the first thing that you're going to need to do because these files are contained in a zip or a compressed folder is to extract these. You can either hit the extract all button here, or alternatively, if you start out at the desktop, you can right click and hit extract all. Either of these will bring you to the same prompt, which asks you where you would like to save these zipped folders. Again, I would recommend a location that you're familiar with, for example, the desktop. Hit extract. Once you've done this, the files will be extracted and they should automatically bring you to the new folder with your extracted data. This will show you the current PMAT version. In the case of the example here, we're working with PMAT version 1.2. If you click this, you'll see a link that says PMAT installer. You should open this application. Something that happens very commonly with Windows users for PMAT is that you're going to see this Windows protected your PC error. And if you click more information, you're going to see the option to hit run anyway. This is exactly what you need to do. But first, for your own security, let me explain to you exactly why this happens. PMAT is an independent pro program that we, a group of academics in the Barker Lab, have written. And one thing that Windows likes to look for for your security is that programs are certified. We as independent developers don't currently have the ability and haven't been able to yet certify this program. But we would trust that if you're here looking for the PMAT suite, that you know who we are, you know our work, and that you would trust us to hit this run anyway button. If you don't, that's absolutely okay as well. You can always use PMAT within MATLAB and you won't run into these same problems. Both applications are exactly the same. However, this version allows you to use PMAT independent of MATLAB, and this is the only way that we can allow you to do this. So hit run anyway. This will bring you to the PMAT installer program. Inside of the PMAT installer program, you can see a description that tells you everything that I just mentioned to you. In this window, you can hit next, and this will bring you to an installation option that allows you to designate where exactly you would like to install the PMAT suite. If you have a preferred folder, feel free to hit browse in order to place this wherever you'd like. However, we've already pre-populated this menu here with C program files Barker Lab. And so you have no need to change this unless you have a specific reason to. What I would recommend, however, is hitting the button to add a shortcut to your desktop so that you can find PMAT easily once you're done. Once you've done this, hit next. The next window for almost all of you is going to install the MATLAB runtime environment. The MATLAB runtime environment is a shell of MATLAB that allows you to run things that were written in MATLAB code independently. The MATLAB runtime environment is a wonderful compromise because it allows you to use many of the tools of MATLAB without having the need for a MATLAB license. So at this menu, you can hit next. For me, this won't take very long because it says MATLAB runtime is already installed. But for many of you doing this for the first time, there will be a lengthy installation process after this. So 
be patient, and eventually MATLAB will install all of the packages required for you to run PMAP. At the end, you'll receive a confirmation, and this will tell you exactly where you're going to be installing the, the MATLAB, uh, the PMAT suite. It's going to tell you exactly what MATLAB runtime is going to be installed, and if you already have the MATLAB runtime installed, it will tell you where it's installed in case you need to reference that. This should be the last step, and you should be able to hit install. After a few minutes or a few seconds, you'll see this installation completed successfully prompt, and at this point you can hit finish. You're ready to start using PMAP. If you click that link that I suggested, you'll see a link to PMAT on your desktop, and you can double click this to open the PMAT suite. Once you've double clicked and the PMAT suite is open, you're ready to start analyzing data. Good luck.